All right, welcome back, everybody. Here we are. Uh, you Sushi, and you. Me <laughs> and me. Sushi's here. Uh, here, let's give some details from last time. Uh, we took a little bit of break. Yeah. Um, talked to some some friends to learn a couple of things. Not like spoilers about the game, but last Who time. Who did you talk to? Bishoy, last time I was really mad that I couldn't like the oh, puzzle well. shut off. We could have found out it ourselves, okay? Yeah, we could have found this out ourselves, but he went ahead and told us that, you know, guess what? Um, if it shuts off, it's just a brute force uh, aversion technique, and you can just do it again. <laughs> and, aversion technique? Yeah, like to make people be avert. Avert. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Um, and then after that, uh, you know, we explored the game a little bit. Learned a couple of things, but uh, let's let's go ahead and continue. Here's a symbol I don't understand. So I'm gonna walk around and take a look at the things that we missed last time. But you know, we also learned a couple of things from just exploring. So this one here is this tree, and I just need to run it again. There we go. No, I don't have to be afraid. This single branch. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. So this one is on this side. Haha. -ha. This one because this branch is broken. We can go this way. It's halfway no, plus one. It's hard, it's hard to read when I'm talking out loud. You want me to be quiet and people can just watch me silently? <laughs> silently play the game? What are you doing? I'm doing the tree one right now, and this is the one where it's... Some of the branches are broken, but one extra branch is broken, and then you see... Okay. It's this one. Alright. Cool. Alright. So, we did this. We played a little bit on a different different account just to explore. I didn't really do anything. Who did? I did. You did not. Yeah, Ksusha, Ksusha looked at it. I don't really know anything about it. But I know a couple of things. So I saw her come into this room, and we see this apple. And we didn't we didn't know what to do here. Honey, you notice that the windmill is not moving? But it's moving on the other one when you did it. Yeah. No, I don't think it Ah, because I did it inside the things. Inside. Oh you went in there and, and Yeah, the okay, let's go there. Let's let's go no no. Go down into it. Mm-hmm. There's a girl who's talking there a lot, and you're gonna listen to it. Maybe you would understand what she's talking about. Okay. Let's go check it out. If I'm not wrong. Well, anyways, it's probably a good idea to win the open. I've been walking here. Here we go. Okay, here's a window. This doesn't look impossible. Is it this simple? Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy peasy. No, oh, then. Well, it's gonna connect. Connect to one of them. Yeah. Kind of creepy. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. No. Why 
<laughs> hey, this looks familiar. Yeah. Uh, we have a key, right? Where is it? I got screenshots over here. Here, Steam, Steam apps. The wit. Wait a minute. <laughs> Where's this game saved? E? Steam. Steam X. Common. The Witness. Screenshots. There we go. Well, I don't know which one this one refers to. Can you uh, rotate? Okay. Is this the same one? I don't know. Can you rotate? No, it's not. Uh, rotate this image on the right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can. You can. Uh, ah, okay. You can go to right. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, it's the first one. no better a solution than any of the other, is it? So, in the end, have we learned anything from this look at why the world turned out the way it did? That's of any use to us in our future. Something, I think. That the key to why things change is the key to everything. How easy is it for knowledge to spread? And that in the past, the people who made change happen were the people who had that knowledge, whether they were craftsmen or kings. Today, the people who make things change, the people who have that knowledge, are the scientists and the technologists who are the true driving force of humanity. And before you say, what about the Beethovens and the Michelangelos, let me suggest something with which you may disagree violently. That at best, the products of human emotion, art, philosophy, politics, music, literature, are interpretations of the world. They tell you more about the guy who's talking than about the world he's talking about. Second-hand views of the world made third-hand by your interpretation of them. Things like that, as opposed to this. Know what it is? It's a bunch of amino acids. The stuff that goes to build up a, a worm, or a geranium, or you. This stuff's easier to take, isn't it? Understandable. It's got people in it. This scientific knowledge is hard to take because it removes the reassuring crutches of opinion, ideology, and leaves only what is demonstrably true about the world. And the reason why so many people may be thinking about throwing away those crutches is because, thanks to science and technology, they have begun to know that they don't know so much and that if they are to have more say in what happens to their lives, more freedom to develop their abilities to the full, they have to be helped towards that knowledge that they know exists and that they don't possess. And by help towards that knowledge, I don't mean give everybody a computer and say, help yourself. Where would you even start? No, I mean, trying to find ways to translate the knowledge, to teach us to ask the right questions. See, we're on the edge of a revolution in communications technology that is going to make that more possible than ever before. Or, if that's not done, to cause an explosion of knowledge that will leave those of us who don't have access to it as powerless as if we were deaf, dumb, and blind. And I don't think most people want that. So what do we do about it? I don't know. But maybe a good start would be to recognize within yourself the ability to understand anything, because that ability is there, as long as it's explained clearly enough. And then go and ask for explanations. And if you're thinking right now, what do I ask for? Ask yourself 
if there's anything in your life that you want changed. That's where it starts. So, uh, what do you think about sure, that? Man. Yeah, that's the end of that one. Uh, what do you think about that exposition? Um, I have no idea. Well, it felt like uh, his, his, it was like just a piece, and honestly, it didn't, like, it's, it's, isn't this common sense? There's isn't another one. you find this somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Alright, so excuse me if I'm another one. We'll just go ahead and run this key. The last one. So it's absolutely simple. Let's listen. What I have to say to you. It's what my teacher said to me. And I'm still uh, <laughs> deeply discovering the reverberation of that. And it's simply stop looking for what you want. Not cynically stop looking for what you want. Because there's a way of stopping looking for what you want in resignation and cynicism and closing down. But innocently, openly, stop looking for what you want in this moment. Not tomorrow when you have it. But in this moment, to take one moment, whatever it is you want, however mundane or profound, and just stop looking for it. And you will find more than what you could ever want. Because more than what can be wanted is already who you are. Too simple to be grasped, but absolutely, completely realizable. If, and it is a huge if, of course, you are willing to give up your hope that what you want will be found in the next thought, or the next activity, or the next day, or the next man, or the next woman or the next teaching, or the next experience. So that's huge. That's the challenge. And I've blessedly traveled to Australia to challenge you <laughs> in that direction, that directionless direction. It's so simple that it has to be said over and over because it just slips right by the mind. And if it's said over and over and in enough ways and then not said, it can just be revealed. Not as something new, but as something absolutely fresh. Not new, but fresh. Who you are is not new, but it is always fresh. Who you think you are is old and dead. We just keep trying to think, think it a little better, squeeze some life. That's really the basis of what I have to say. It's not a teaching. It's not a belief system. It's not a, a way to live your life. It's not a, a should stop. 
It's not a, if you stop, you will be rich and famous and universally loved and never have a sad moment. None of that, I promise. <laughs> if you're willing to investigate for yourself without believing it or learning it or hoping to get something from it, just a pure investigation out of the natural curiosity of the human mind. Just to investigate for yourself what is here when I stop trying to get anything. And how much of that is here? And where does that begin? And where does that end? And then the question, Then the challenges get very big, but we'll get to that later. Yes, on the end. Oh. Any questions okay. about what I just said? Want me to say it again? <laughs> Please no. You already are everything you want, only maybe not in the way you imagine what you want. And it's that imagination itself that keeps you from discovering that you already are everything you want. So if you just take this evening as an experiment to give up any imagination, any image of what you need to be totally fulfilled, just give it up. It's just an image, just a thought. Maybe a spiritual thought, maybe a worldly thought, a relationship thought, a career thought, just give it up. And directly discover what's here, unthought, <coughs> unimagined. How's that? Good. Good. All right. Uh, what do you think about that? She goes keep saying the same thing. Yeah, all right. I think I agree. Here's my my quick exposition analysis uh, on behalf of Bashor, who requested, what do you think about all of these things? The first video was pretty vague. Video. Oh, sorry. All right. The first video was pretty vague. Um, and the guy pretty much said, look, science, knowledge is important. we got to spread it to everybody. It's science. It's not art. And I think, well, why do you think people are interested in things? People like art uh, to do so. So I don't know if I fully agree with him. Uh, the second video... She was also really vague. She didn't really say anything other than don't look, don't, or stop trying to look for something. And it sounded like what she's, her goal is like, I don't know what her con the context is. I don't know who the lady is. She's probably very famous. I never heard of her. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I don't like the way she talks. Too calm. And her point was stop looking, stop trying and maybe then therefore therefore you'll be happy as a person uh honestly i also think that's kind of maybe it's not common sense but it makes sense to me in the same way that the first one made sense to me this last one was like you know yeah don't look for anything and if you don't look for anything you can't expect anything if, like if you remove your expectations it's like a paradigm shift of your thoughts but um, what I'm more interested in is why is it in the game and what makes it, and what is that, what is that path up there? Well, so yeah, we got this one from that first because place. Because you go, like, there. Yeah. Yeah, there. It's so annoying, really, you keep walking the same way. You can walk, explore, and talk about that. Oh, that's true. Well, I was going to end this episode, but I just was going to say that, yeah, we got this one from the previous one, and then Tisha found this one in her solo playthrough real quick. All right, we're going to stop this episode here. We're going to continue in the next one.